Okay, so <clears throat> next we are going to cover the security part of WHMCS. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Go to security here. Mm -hmm. Now, required password strength. Now, sometimes this can be annoying to the customer. Okay, so sometimes people want to be able to choose their own e existing password. And if you keep asking them for a different kind of password, it'll annoy them and eventually people will get will keep forgetting their, their new password so you don't want to um, put it too high okay as long as it's not too simple that'll be fine so 50 I think 50 is a bit high so let's change this into maybe 30 30 is enough okay okay so next uh, we're gonna next we're gonna discuss this admin band time so yeah this is a good security protection so if someone tries to log in to your admin page right you want to ban them okay okay so even you want to ban them longer not 15 minutes they can keep trying and trying again let's ban someone who tries to log in to your admin panel let's ban those people for one hour so if someone tries to log in as admin 60 minutes right and fails to do so in three times that'll be banned in for 60 minutes or one hour okay okay that's that so let's move forward disable credit card storage depends if you're using PayPal you won't be storing any any people's credit cards in your server so you won't be even applying this so if you're if you have a merchant account make sure you have a very very high security for your s server and when you store credit card numbers there make sure you protect your database with a very, very strong password okay in this case I'm using PayPal and third-party payment gateways so I'm not gonna even use that okay allow customers to delete their cards of course it's their card I'm really annoyed when a company doesn't allow me to remove my card and they just they just wanna keep your card on file so they can like charge you anytime they want don't do that to your clients okay so if you have a merchant account and um, you store your credit card your clients card numbers in your server make sure that they have an option to actually remove the card from your server it's their card okay so that's that disable MD5 client password no that's not recommended it means if you let me um, let me square that or highlight this this part I'm talking about if you check that you will be able to see your clients password so you will know your clients password and other people like your support team will know your client password so that's not recommended okay so don't use that because you don't really need to know your clients password they can reset their password anytime that's that disable session IP check no we have we need to do to have that for security so leave that as it is and that's pretty much it okay so I'm gonna do this now don't forget to save your changes always save your changes so I'm gonna do that now and save it. Okay, I lost my internet connection for a second there. So I just saved 
the security settings and that's it so um, next we're gonna discuss the other settings here we have and I'm gonna skip that to a different video thanks for watching and I'll see you next on the other sections here